Thanks for joining me on the Like Tech channel. I'm your host, Joel Lightcatcher, and today we have a treat. The complete noob's guide to building a drone by a noob. I've never done this before. Has it cracked you up yet? Bravo! This is your captain speaking. We'll be experiencing some slight turbulence. <laughs> on behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. I have flown X-Stars and Typhoon H's and I can fly these things all day long without a problem. They got GPS, they have magnometers, and they'll just hang in the air if you let them. This? No. You gotta learn to fly this thing. It will not, it has no intelligence of it all. You have to become a pilot. Now, where did I get this from? This came from GearBest. Dot com in China. They liked some of the reviews I did and they contacted me and said, hey, would you like to review one of our drones? I said, sure. Send me the Dubai 210 millimeter FPV racing drone kit. Now, it's not a complete kit. You still got to add your own uh, camera, transmitter, radio, and a few other doodads. Now, the 10 lessons I learned from building this that nobody told me. Make a list of all the parts, double check, Try to figure out what's missing. For example, the first thing I found is these standoffs. They didn't really include any of these and I had to come up with a way to do it. Well, I also learned that they only come with four standoffs in a bag and I needed eight, so two trips to the hobby store. The indications on these motors, some say clockwise, some say counterclockwise. What does that mean? That means that the nuts on the propellers are threaded to go one direction or another. It does not indication that the wire, they're wired to spin like this. You have to cross the ground and power line here to get the right direction. Next thing I learned is on powering up your drone the first time, smoke is bad. Really, really bad. So if you really want to make a collection of dead flight boards, then take these power hookups, which are five volt, and hook it up to the 12 volt port on your power supply board. Instant smoke, dead lights, no flight controller. Don't be as me. Okay, next thing I learned is soldering. Soldering on the boards. There's a lot of it. When you do it, do it quickly. Do not let your soldering iron linger because if you do you're liable to burn out a pad and that's why I don't have lights on this. All the 5 volt connections I burned out so no lights my bad. This is a monitor. There's no antenna on this right now but this will read the video from this and it's very very cool if you're a spectator but you're trying to fly one of this with one of these is nearly impossible. You really have to get some FPV goggles and that's very next on my shopping list. Next thing I learned Support your local hobby shop. They're an invaluable resource. I'm lucky I got 305 drones in Hallandale Beach and Maniacs Hobbies in Plantation, Florida. Now, I learned a lot from them. I got stuck a few times. They helped me out a few times. And I actually found it was better for me to pay them to program the flight controller board and my radio the very first time because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, the information on YouTube was a little sketchy for me. I watched, I learned, I listened. I'll do it myself the next time and I've done a lot of improvements since then. So that was money well worth, well spent. Now, even though you should sponsor your local hobby shop and keep them in business, they don't have everything. Parts can, parts can find. I like to use uh, GearBest in China, GearBest.com. The prices are good. There's no slow boat from China anymore. You get your parts in seven to 10 days, which is kind of cool. Uh, it really is no, not much slower than going from Amazon. Maybe not Prime, but it's close enough. Now, another thing I want to highly recommend is you join the AMA. That's not the American Medical Association. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. You'll get one of these cards, but the real value here is you get it like a about a quarter million dollar of liability insurance for about $75 a year. You will crash. God forbid you should not hurt anybody, but if you did, this will protect you and your family. Now, the next thing, 
join your local FPV racing club. You'll make a lot of friends, you'll learn a lot, you might learn to fly your fancy racing drone, and you're gonna eat a lot of pizza. <laughs> now, the last thing, last thing. This is an extremely addictive hobby slash sport. So, all these little parts cost $5, $3, $4, $20, in time, you're gonna spend a lot of money on this. So if you wanna save money, take up golf.